In one of my previous videos, I talked about how being fun is the best way to get a girl interested right from the start, especially if you're out at night at the bars or the clubs or something like that. People are looking for fun, and if you're able to give them a fun experience, women are going to want to hang out with you. And if you do this right, you're going to be having such a good time, you're going to be having such a good uh, night out, the girls are going to be around you, you're not even going to notice that some of the hottest girls in the bar or the club are attracted to you and want to sleep with you. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you all the steps that I use to how to have fun out. Now, it's, this is not necessarily self-amusement. Self-amusement within itself doesn't get you laid, but bring people into your fun, bringing them an experience, because women don't date a guy for, for a guy. They date a guy for the experience that they're going to get with him. So if you are going to give her a good experience, you're going to be a lot more successful. So here are the, all the steps that I use to give people a fun experience when I'm out. And it starts from you. Step one, stop being so judgmental. I'm going to say this a couple times. Nothing is weird if enough people are doing it. Nothing is weird if enough people are doing it. Okay, this is a big thing that when I was watching videos back in the day, RSD talked about this probably more than anything. They talked about getting out of your own head, okay? S stop judging yourself when you're doing stuff. You've seen that video with this guy that uh, he's in the park and he's like dancing by himself and then a bunch of other people join him. So it basically starts out where he's just dancing, he just looks like this weird dude and people are probably looking at him like, hey look, there's like one weird dude dancing by himself. And then like some other people join him and they're like, oh cool, like three people, three weird people are dancing by themselves. And you're like, oh, a, a crowd of people is all dancing. Oh, damn, like, we should go over there, you know? <laughs> Nothing is weird if enough people are doing it. It started out as some, like, weird, awkward thing where he's dancing by himself. But look what happened. Enough people came in. He became the life of the party. He became the leader that everybody was looking for. And if you want to be that guy, you have to put yourself out there a little bit. You have to be, accept the fact that sometimes you're going to look a little bit silly. Most people aren't going to judge you. Most people are judging you. And if they, if they do, they're only judging themselves. People, when they're out, a lot of times they're just bored. They're just looking for something to do. And if you're the person who has the bravery to actually do something, a lot of people will jump on board. Not everybody will, but a lot of people will. So... Stop judging yourself. Oh, I think that's too weird. Oh, I think that's st like that's stupid. I'm not gonna do that. That was one of the worst things that I would do when I was out. You know, I was always trying to be Mr. Cool Man. I was trying to be like Mr. James Bond in the club or something like that. Okay, <laughs> if you're trying to be James Bond at the bar or the club, you're not getting laid. Okay, it's a movie. People don't actually the, the guys who do well don't actually do that. So stop judging yourself and be free to start doing the things that you want to do. Step two has to do with energy. Your energy is such a big deal when you're out, okay? Energy and fun, they're not just correlated, they're tied with each other. If you have more energy, you're going to be a lot more of a fun person. So how do you get more energy when you're out? A lot of people complain about being tired. A lot of people complain about not wanting to do stuff. Well, that's because you're dreading, a lot of times when people get into a bar or, or a nightclub or something like that, they're a little bit overwhelmed by everything and they just don't even want to engage because they feel like it's going to be, you know, they, they, they think it's going to turn out bad. So what I like to do is I like to pump up my state or as, as some people call it, just move around more. Start doing things that are going to get your body moving a little more. Sometimes that means going straight to the dance floor and doing some, getting your body moving around into it, <laughs> you know? Sometimes I'll do that. A lot of times I just like to be a little bit more, uh, gesture a little more, use my body, uh, I like to do high fives, hugs, you know, fist bumps, things like that. I like to run, you know, not to run, but like to walk between different groups and talk to people like that. I'm very engaged with the conversations that I'm in and I'm trying to pick up my own energy, my own momentum. And once you start moving around a lot, once you start having a lot of energy, going up and talking to different girls is gonna be so much more easy. Step three is get positive references, okay? So while you're moving around, while you're getting your energy up, I like to talk to people that I know are gonna give me a good, uh, good reaction. So sometimes, for me, the best, most ideal situation is meeting meeting people out. So if you're going out to the bar and you know like three or four guys there or maybe you're meeting up with some girls or you're meeting up with some friends or something like that, that is going to pick me up way more than me talking to random people because I don't know if a random person is going to give me a good uh, good reaction. 
I know my friends will. So a lot of times for the first hour or so, I'm usually just shooting the shit with my buddies or I'm usually just talking to some girls that I know. I'm, I'm mingling, I'm picking myself up with energy and I'm feeling good because I'm getting positive interactions. If you go out and you talk to like five different girls in the first hour of the night and they all like, they all ignore you or they all like react negatively to you, you're gonna have a much tougher time but going up to those girls later on in the night that you do like. So talk to people that you know are going to give you good and good reaction. This might mean that you're going to start talking out to some dudes, or it might mean you might talk to a group of girls that you're not necessarily interested in. It's okay. If they're cool, they're cool. Awesome. I, I enjoy talking to people who are cool when I'm out. doesn't matter who they are. So that's how you start building up positivity. Once you get these positive reference frames, you're moving around a lot, your energy, you're feeling good, it's all going to be going up. So that way, when you do see a girl that you're interested in, it's not that big of a deal. You're already feeling good when you go up and talk to her. People can sense this. They can sense you're having a good time, you're having fun, and it's going to provide a lot more of a positive interaction than if you weren't doing this. Step four is bring people into the party. You're having a good time. Bring people in. Invite them into the adventure that you're having, okay? A lot of times when you're feeling good and, you're, and people are like kind of seeing you guys have fun, you're going to start getting girls that are like kind of coming in close to you. When girls like a guy, they don't necessarily approach them, but they'll start hanging out like nearby, kind of hoping that he'll talk to them or hoping something will happen. So if you start seeing this, bring those girls into your party. Bring them in. One of the things that I love doing when um, when I'm leading the fun or when I'm, a, you know, life of the party is I come up with like fun missions or fun assignments. I have this kind of like us against the world type thing. So if they come in and um, I, I did this over the weekend where we were talking with a, uh, we were talking with a, a bunch of girls and the assignment was was we were trying to find the VIP spot so there was a bunch of sit down areas at the the bottom area of this bar and our goal was to try and find a VIP area so I was like if you see anyone with these leaving their area we got to pick it up so that was the assignment for like 20 minutes then after that we transitioned into like making into turning the whole lounge area that we had which was just a normal lounge area at the bar we were going to turn that into the vip area and so we were doing like things that you would normally do at the vip table we were like dancing on the on the chairs and stuff like that uh we were going back and forth it, it was it was that kind of vibe and environment if you get make fun assignments fun missions activities a lot of people are going to jump on board, and that way you can lead that activity. If you're leading people into the party and you're having a good time, this is a really good place to be for you. I remember the, the best way I ever did this was in, oh, maybe not the best way, but it was one of the better ways. I was in Vietnam, and at the time I didn't even want to go out that night. I was feeling tired. I was feeling groggy like you know a lot of times you do, and I ended up meeting these group of people, and we ended up becoming fast friends. And just, I don't know what happened, what I decided to do, what clicked. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to let loose tonight. And so what we were doing on the dance floor was like, oh my God, it was, we were doing, we were doing like flexing moves. We were doing like the silliest moves you could possibly think of. We were trying to outdo each other with like the dance moves that we were doing. And we did this. We didn't care who was watching us because like nobody else was dancing besides, uh, besides us. So we were doing these moves on the dance floor, and uh, I see people start to crowd around. They start to, like, you know, want to be a part of this dance party with us. And so I started, like, tapping people on the shoulder, and I was, like, doing flexing moves with them and, like, trying to get them to dance with us. Anyway, I did this for uh, a long period of time, and then uh, I see probably the hottest girl I've ever seen uh, is kind of, like, looking at me. And so I invited her into the party, and we started doing flexing moves, um, and then we ended up hanging out, we went on a, I, the adventure was we were trying to get, uh, we were trying to find who the best dancer was. So we were going around, like, getting people to do their dance moves with us, and it was kind of like us against the world. She was on the adventure with me, I was bringing an experience of fun, laughter, and good times, and as you can imagine, we ended up hooking up in the, in the end, and it was probably the one of the best nights uh, of my Vietnam <laughs> adventure. So that's how you do it, man. Basically, you stop being judgmental, move around more, start getting positive reference frames, and then invite people into the party, okay? So 
Once you do this right, your nights are going to be a lot more fun and you're going to start to realize that a lot more girls are being attracted to you. So if you're a guy who feels like, oh, I'm not really that good looking or I'm not really that, I don't have that much money, you know, why would a girl want to spend time with me while I'm out? This is why, okay? If you're a fun person, they're going to want to hang out with you. And then you mix that in with like, you know, knowing how to push things in the direction that you want, which a lot of people say is game. Um, and, you know, having a fun, you know, good personality, being personable to them. You mix all that in, you're going to be a catch for most girls. And most girls are going to want to sleep with you. So that's what I have to say about this, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in my mentorship program where I teach guys exactly how to do this sort of thing and get the girls that they want in their life, whether they're at a bar or a club or something like that or just in their everyday life, email me, thesingleguy2017 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot, you guys. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. Good luck out there.